Do you have two cameras? I must be seeing double. It's double dare time. Nickelodeon, double dare. That's so bad. So what's up guys? So we're back again, child hoodies, child hoodie, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one half, he's child, I'm hoodie, we're calling it child hoodie. Let's get to it, hopefully it's only one episode, not 2,000. I hate you so much. On your mark. Get set. Go! These two teams are doing the hedgehog thing, trying to burst all those overripe fairy balloons with their quivering wills. Is this Comic-Con? These are just Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm at my persona. They're like, these fairies will have to go through a whole obstacle course, trying not to jerk off in their suit. <laughs> As they see some Sonic fan fiction on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's just them in their fursuit, and they're just like, oh my god, oh my I want to touch my thing so bad. <laughs> their whole family, they're like, don't touch your dick, don't, don't touch, touch your, your dick. dick, don't touch it. <laughs> the blue team is working their way, slow, methodical, but they're doing it. Put the kids into the Sonic persona too. Really it's a, it's a family way. thing. They all they all have Sonic fan uh <laughs> Different uh, characters, like one of them, they're One's like Knuckles. Knuckles. They're like, I get to the Sonic level easily. I won't jerk off. <laughs> and then the Knuckles challenge, like halfway through, he goes, "Here's the knuckle bonus." He's like, "Fuck!" He's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> the team is struggling, but here they come on the second leg. Can he catch them? Oh, there's only one more for the blue team, and the blue team did it. Twenty-five dollars in control, right over here to the blue team. I thought he was gonna kiss the kid, dude, because the way that he grabbed him, I was like, "Whoa, okay." <laughs> Welcome everybody to Double Dare 2000, the show that leaves you messy and begging, begging for more. Yo, they, they, these writers on Nickelodeon uh, game shows are the horniest motherfuckers. We'll leave you messy and begging, just pleading. But right now, we want to play round one. We have two really intense mall tour competing teams, so let's meet them, shall we? First, to my left, they're dressed in red. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Red Sailing Clippers. Now, over here to my right, their competition is also from Warwick, Rhode Island. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Double Dogs. Double Dogs. <laughs> What's that worth? <laughs> Wait, John, why is this here? What was the name of Harrison Ford's character in the film Raiders of the Lost Ark? Give me shit. It's fucking Indiana Jones. You fuck this up, you're not going to Disneyland. <laughs> Mom's like, who the fuck are you guys? I'm just a producer. I'm, I'm, <laughs> they just told me I gotta be part of your family. Yeah, I don't I know. Gotta, I gotta keep talking, just fucking. <laughs> she asks, in which of the following sports would you have to execute a flip turn? Basketball, swimming, or cycling. Basketball, and the double dogs. Nice start. Up what the fuck? Oh my, that, that, that was the double dare 2000 aspect <laughs> coming in. That was Y2K. That yeah, was Y2K coming back. The second coming of Jesus is going to come in the middle of a double dare 2000 broadcast. Could you imagine Jesus coming back in double dare 2000? They go, so the second question is, who is the Lord and say And then fucking the building. Oh. Koosh, koosh. Jesus is really the marketing genius. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 he got huh? crucified almost 2,000 years ago just for this show. You know what? Today is your lucky day, and you know why? Why? Because, you know, I bet you up there in Rhode Island, there's not a lot of oil wells, right? No. But we happen to find one right, he right here in the stage, right here in Orlando, right on the stage. And we're going to collect that oil right now. So you go stand over there. You probably don't know a lot about the oil industry, right? <laughs> Okay. When I say go, you're gonna start pumping here, just like this. And you see how the oil starts flowing up like that? It's gonna flow and spew all over the place. You're gonna start pumping like this. You're just gonna, you know, just light like that. strokes. Light, light strokes. strokes. Light strokes. You know, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, just. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 100%, yeah. yeah. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's strike oil, shall we? On your mark, get set, go! Mom's ah. pumping that oil, and there it comes. All right, you gotta keep your head straight there and catch some oil. Keep, there you go. Okay, we got 22 seconds left. And it's, oh, he's doing nicely. The oil's filling up nicely. 17 seconds left. It's gonna be close. All right, we have 14 seconds left. Oh, we're still pumping oil, and they did it. They did it. Very nice. I thought Double Dare 2000 was gonna up the stake a lot. That seemed really like, easy. That, that's, it was not, not only was it way too easy, but it also seemed so out of place. They made a mom and son do it. That's why it's like a little weird sometimes with game shows when they're just like, wow, the mom's really slamming it all over. <laughs> all over her son. All over her son. She's a like, squirter, ain't she? Blondie's husband, bringing up to 300. 
Dagwood. Dagwood is right. And for those who are curious, the last name is Bumstead. That buzzer means it's the end of the round. So, obviously, the Double Dogs are doing really, really great. They have $300. The Red Sailing Clippers are not on the scoreboard just yet, but you will be soon, I'm sure. Round two is coming up. You haven't given the Red a shot to fucking give any answer. Yeah, look how bored they are. Even the look at the mom, like she has her arms over the fucking thing. She's like, this fucking shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Time for more Double Bear 2000, and now here's your host, Jason Harris. Oh, thank you so much, Tiffany. You make such a cute hedgehog, you do. All right, we're about to start. That's him when he let the vessel out a little bit too much. He was just like, thank you, Tiffany. And <laughs> so <good. laughs> Anyway, so we're back with Double Dare 2000. <laughs> round two, where the rules are pretty much the same as they are in round one, <clears throat> but the dollar values are doubled. Excuse me, and when you hear this sound, uh, the game is over. Bro. When you hear this sound. So what's going to happen here, Dad, you're going to take a donut, put it out here, and put lots of frosting on that donut. Pass it over to you. You'll put the sprinkles on that donut. And then, Mom, you're going to take the donut and put it on our professional donut holder. Do that position one more. Yes, right there. I think we're just dirty money, uh, yeah. to be honest. First the oil spilling all over you. He was like, oh, it's spilling. The mom is spilling it. And then now with the donut with the frosting. Make sure you put a lot on top. Make sure to get some top. <laughs> two and two right now. Two and two. Three and three. It's very close. Three and three. Four. Blue team took some, a little bit of a lead. Okay. And five for the blue team right here. Five and five. Let's see that last one. Six. Blue team did it. Yeah, you saw that one? Look at that one. There's nothing on like that, that guy was doing mad generous frosting on top. Let's see what happens, shall we? But Double Dogs, you have control right now, as Blake smiles confidently, and you have this $50 question. You got on the wrong plane, and when it landed... <laughs> I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. <laughs> thank God, all I'm gonna say, thank God this is 2000. On October 13th, 1903, the very first official World Series was played between the Pittsburgh Pirates and what team? What team played in that first World Series? For $100, or you can double dare. Double dare. They are double dare. Double dare. Okay Bro, yeah, off the board. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why they just get Yo, exactly. Like, you guys have not fucking gotten a single fucking thing correct. You haven't even had the opportunity to, and yet you're just passing it. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Now worth $200 or a physical challenge? Sure. Physical challenge. They are going for the physical challenge. Emotional challenge. <laughs> All right, therapy session <laughs> with your father. So describe your father's disappointment in you. Double dare. That's not how this works, kid. Double dare. Little bitch. <laughs> I prescribe you to watch Double Dare 2000 and Opium. <laughs> come on down, all four of you. All four of you folks, come on down. Blake, Brendan, come over here with me. You know what? Today is your lucky day. You know why? Why? Because most kids, they don't get to see their parents get married. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, kids like you would have divorced parents. <laughs> they don't get to see their parents. <laughs> That's it. But you're gonna see your parents get married all over again right here on this stage. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I want a divorce. <laughs> oh, you look so wonderful, so cute. Are you happy up there? Very happy. Good, good. How does it feel, Mom? $200, they're up to $650. No dollars just yet for the red team, but we still have a little time left. You guys have control of the round. Dude, this is so sad. They haven't even fucking showed them play. Look how pissed the dad was. Dad was so I paid fucking $2,000 in this vacation <laughs> to not get a single dollar in this game. Knight Rider is correct. Knight Rider. Oh, but that buzzer, that buzzer means that it is the end of the game. So, with $650, the double dogs are gonna run. How unfair is that? What? They, the fi game they finally get to control the board at the end of the game. I know, they get right? two questions right, and then. It's, it's, it's. They're, they're biased towards the blue team. It's slop time. Well, the Battle of New England was won handily by the blue team. And Brandon, and now are you ready to dominate the slopsicle course? 
Yes. All right, very good. Well, you're going to start things off, Brandon. Number one is double click. You're going to jump around on this computer keyboard here. One of these keys will light the virtual flag. As soon as you light that flag, grab the real flag, hand it off, and you will win this fabulous, fabulous prize. Lowe's Cineplex Theaters nationwide will keep you entertained with all of the big Hollywood stars. Did they win the whole theater? <laughs> no. <laughs> He goes on the keyboard, and he immediately, like, it just sounds like all the keys are gonna get at once. Your turn. Ready? Go. Oh, he fell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He typed in Pornhub while he fell. How did he do it? Number three, Mom, is the Baked Alaska Pipeline. You are gonna slide through this pipe here full of chocolate. You're just gonna love it. You're gonna slide through this one as well. Then you're gonna slide through this one. Be careful. It's very, very slippery. Get all the way to the end. Grab this flag. It's, it says chocolate. That looks like shit. It looks like they literally just picked up the sewage pipeline and then just spewed all the shit bro, this course. Even if it's chocolate, I don't want to have that anywhere near my body. Like, look at it, bro. It looks like diarrhea. Like, that's that's well, disgusting. Well. Bro, that looks like it's shit. Very, very it's cool. it's in literally. Oh my god. It's like oh somebody. <laughs> yep, that is come. Somebody. <laughs> somebody came somebody in the came. front of the car. Producers, why did you eat it, dude? That was that we caught that. Why would you eat it? You know what? You're going to get squished. Number four is the kid squisher. We're going to squish you. You're going to go through this right here. You're going to slide down this beautiful multicolored gag right here into this pond. It's so gorgeous. Grab the flag. Hand it off. Hand it off. Oh, oh my God. That looks disgusting. Bro, they made gag like just a trademark of every fucking challenge. Yo, what is the difference between slime and gag? Is gag... When is the period of slime when it turns into gag? I think gag is slime, but they just... They like... the. The way that they sell it is like, oh, it's gag. And then here, number six, Chad, the human hamster wheel. The band's everywhere, but they're not going to be there when you have to go in it. You're going to run around, light up these lights. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you hit six, the flag comes down, you grab it, you hand it off, and you win this whole night. The Toys R Us gift card. They have to go to Poo Poo Drain. Yeah. Gag Falls. They have to go through a fucking sewage pipe. A kid pipe. killer. A kid killer. <laughs> no, 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 his name is Mike. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, then, Blake, the finale, it's all up to you. Number eight, the blue plate special. You're going to dig around this anchovy pizza. You like anchovy pizza? No. Yeah, and those are pretty scary-looking fish, aren't they? Those are pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> you like anchovy pizza? No. Well, okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Um. All right, check out the course, folks. It looks so beautiful now. It's going to be so messy in just a second. Brandon, are you psyched? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you pumped? Yes. Well, then we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock just for you. Just for you. It like, sounds like a sound bite. You don't even look like he's talking. He's just... Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. 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 60 seconds. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Brandon's jumping on those. Trying to light that flag. Trying to. Oh, all right. He's methodically pounding on every. You I got him. He's two. He's west. He's west. He's west. <laughs> Flag, Brandon, and here we go. Dad is up number two. 47 seconds left. Dad runs up, jumps in. Whoa, the slime gets him. Fast moving by the dad. Here comes Mom. She comes up to number three. This is a tough one. It gets pretty slick. 37 seconds left. Mom, nice job around the turn. Mom, oh, very nice again. And she grabs that flag, and we're on to number four. Good job. We got 27 seconds left. They're close. Slides down. Grabs the flag on the fly. Good job. Now we're at the kid wash. Brandon's got to pick that pace up. He jumps, diving. He grabs the flag. We're on to number six with 15 seconds left. It's going to be close. Dad has a tough time getting started, but now he does one, two, three. Eight seconds left. Six seconds left. Three, two, one. Oh, my. Oh, my. Stop right there. Oh, but you can enjoy the nose gag, too. Stop right there. Bro, that was, like, impossible to complete. In that amount. I just feel like everything else was fine except for the hamster wheel. The hamster wheel was the hardest part about it. I know. Because it's he like you had to really generate hard. energy to fucking move that shit. Yeah, this, the, all she had to do was fucking just go... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> hey, we'll see you next time on Double Dare 2000. We enjoy the slime so much. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok Trackstar, the shoe with the built-in computer chip that tells you how fast you run and how high and far you jump. This stuff is like really weird because it's like, it was an easy game show for one team, 
But the fact that like they didn't even let the other team play practically until the end, and then they lost Yo, immediately. Th- this one has like it's like it like sucks to be on. Oh I yeah, think. I don't. Yeah, I, the only thing that's that's like rewarding is like the last bit. Yeah, because you like, actually gain. But you gifts. have to win. Exactly. Like the uh, at least with like Legends of the Hidden Temple and like Guts, like you got to participate in certain things. This one, yeah, like, like every team had to participate. If you didn't know who the fuck. Paul Revere also ran with. Yeah, like, you would be like, "Fuck!" You can only do the physical challenge if you were, like, if you got the double dare back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't even make any sense. It should just be a double dare if you just don't know it, or like a physical. It should be a physical challenge if you just don't know it. I know, right? Why, why wouldn't you just want to do the physical challenge? I feel like I would do the physical challenge every single time. Exactly. All right. Well, that was double dare two thousand. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? We clap every single time to end the thing. I wrote this song back in the summer of 85 when Reagan was still present and alive. This is for you. <coughs> How's the song? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo.